having a baby. All right, g'day party people. Welcome, all you WBC youthers. Um, I'm at home today. Forgot my power cord, so video blog coming at you from my living room. Welcome. Anyway. Lots of exciting things. First of all, Friday Night Live happening this Friday. That's going to be exciting. Mitch bringing the word. It's going to be really good. He's going to be preaching. We're going to have our worship. We're going to have crazy games, have a lot of fun, get to know God, make sure he's glorified. It's going to be a fun time. Hope to see you there. That's happening this Friday from 7 till 9. But today, I wanted to share something um, with you, something pretty quick, just a little devotional Thought. Now, this is something I talk about a, a fair bit with my leaders, all right? Um, and I want to bring it today out of Matthew 21. Matthew chapter 21, Jesus tells a story. He does a lot of that, but he tells this story about two sons. And it says this, I'll read it for you. It says, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and he said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. And the son, probably a teenager, says, I'm not going to go work in the vineyard. No way. Get out. Said no. But later on, he changed his mind and he went. And then the father went to his other son and he said the same thing. He said, son, I want you to go work in the vineyard today. And the son said, sure, dad, I'll go do that. Absolutely, I love working in the vineyard. I love you, you're my dad, you're the best. I'm going to go work in the vineyard. Woo, picking the grapes. I'm going to pick the grapes. It's going to be awesome. His dad goes away and that son never goes. Doesn't do it. Just says, whatever. And never goes to the vineyard. And so Jesus' question, he says, which of these two sons did what the father asked you? Which of these two sons did what they were asked to do? Was it the first one who said no, but then later went, oh, actually, I will? Or was it the second one who said, yeah, 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 I'm going to go, I'm going to do that, but never did? And naturally, they said the first. And Jesus says, you're right. He says, truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes, they are entering the kingdom of heaven ahead of all of you. He's talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. John came to you people, but you rejected him. You didn't believe him. But the tax collectors, they're believing now and they're getting in. This is something I talk about a lot with the leaders. And what, what, are, what are we talking about here? We're talking about those who, who proclaim something, who say something, who attend somewhere, compared with those who, who do it who live it, who get it done. It's about being real. It's about not being fake. It's about actually living out what we do. And with the leaders, I talk about this, it's pretty simple. You can't, you can't lead someone somewhere you're not going. You can't teach someone something you don't know. So it's only natural that for the leaders, they need to be living out their faith and growing in their faith. But for you guys, I want to say this, we don't want anyone to be fake. Friday nights are great. Everyone is welcome on Friday night. It doesn't matter if you know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus. It doesn't matter where you are. You are all welcome, right? We want to have a lot of fun. We do a lot of cool stuff. You'll hear some great messages. But the reason we do it, the only reason we do it, is so that people can have real, authentic relationship with Jesus. It's all about being real. The fun and the games and everything we do on Friday, the singing, the dancing, the worship, it's all good, but it doesn't make you a follower of Jesus. It's something followers of Jesus like to do, but that's not it. You can fake it. You can fake it on Friday night. But that's not real, authentic relationship. Oh, okay, look, let, me, let me show you. This is, this is what it looks like. I want you guys to get real in your faith. Real, authentic relationship. Why? Because look at this. Okay, first picture. Here you go. This is a dog. This is a real dog. This dog is doing what dogs are meant to do. Look at him. He's jumping. He's loving it. Catching a frisbee. Real dog. Okay? Now this, fake dog. Look at it. I, a, ugliest dog the world's ever seen. B, I don't know what that dog's doing. He's wearing clothes. He doesn't need to be. He's clearly, you know, not enjoying himself. Look at his face. Not good. See? But okay, let's make humans. Humans are good. Let's go this. This is real happiness. Look at these guys. Real happiness. They're, they're loving it. Chucking leaves around. These kids are happy. Next picture, fake happy. He's trying, but that's fake happy. You just can't do it. This next one, real food. Look at this. Yum. Yum. It's all good. It's bright. It's fresh. It looks yummy. God made good food, right? Real food. Then, fake food. Yeah. Look at the bottom. 
day 180. I don't know if you've looked into this, this is like the Happy Meal Project. They just sat a Happy Meal out on the bench and this is after 180 days, 180 days, half, half a year, sitting on the bench, still looks exactly the same, fake food. Guys, what am I saying? Real is so much better. Real is what actually counts. Real is what actually makes a difference. Real is what actually changes your life. So I encourage you guys, don't fake it. Come completely honest on Friday nights. But know that every person who comes, we're going to try and introduce you to Jesus and help you grow into a real and authentic relationship with Him. One more thing, hopefully, our Harlem Shake from last week will be up today. Keep your eyes out for it. Check on the website to see if it's there. Peace.